we talked about it, I think, a couple games ago. He's been great, right? He um, was really good tonight. And, and forget that I think he was 10 for 12, wasn't he? Forget that. To me, he was, he was guarding, like noticeably guarding and making life difficult for uh, Bogdanovich, Oladipo, all those guys. So that was it's kind of why I let him roll. I, did, I, liked, I liked what he was doing defensively. And it's nice that he chipped in 23. But, but uh, you're right, he's been playing. Again, he just looks um, fast and fresh and athletic and strong and, and playing the right way. What do you think Kyle was able to give you in his return time? Very good leadership, right? You can just you can just sense a uh, a uh, organized attack at both ends. You know, pretty good. There's there's some breakdowns here and there, but but that's you know that's what he does. He does he does a um, four for ten, twelve points, eight assists. But there's about thirty two other things out there you're not seeing that he's doing that don't get recorded on the stat sheet. We talked about the bench before the game. You you already mentioned Norm, but even those other guys, yep. Devon really stepping up, OG defensively. Uh, how important was that tonight, especially in the second night of a back-to-back, -back, to get those minutes? For it was great because I think we had two long stretches with them tonight on a night when you need that, right? Two long extended sessions for those guys. They all get into the, to the 20s plus tonight, which is r rare lately for us, for them. So, um, yeah, it was a good night for them to do it, and, and uh, it was good. It was good to hear them after the game last night being a little upset. It was good to hear them today. You could hear them talking and... And, and admitting they weren't good and that they were going to play and they were going to come with some fire and some juice today, and then they did. How did Kyle get through the game physically? Felt fine good. and everything? Yeah, good. I, I, just, a, just a little winded a couple times, but, but good. I tried to keep his stints shorter, right? I kind of subbed him a little strangely tonight for him, and, uh, but I was trying to keep him at the longest six minutes. Cringe, sorry, you cringe a little bit with the two charges he drew. I know that's Kyle, but first game back from the from the back thing. You know, I, I probably should, but when I'm in the game, I'm not. I'm not really thinking about that. I'm thinking about what a again, what a what a play that guy makes for his team. I'm surprised with how well Serge played it back to back and was keeping the minutes down. Was that a foul combination or just uh, plan? Serge is a really good player. He should play well in back to backs. Going back to the foul. 22 minutes was that a combo of the fouls and a, or a set plan to try to keep his, his standing? I think I think it was more of a combo of the second unit playing so well, right? Those two extended stretches were included Greg, right? So a little bit, you know, the foul thing in the first half, obviously, but but the extended and, and Greg Greg was playing well and that group was playing well. When you say that the bench has had those conversations, especially after a rough night like last night. Is there one guy that you noticed in particular that really... DeLon Wright was the one I noticed the most that was talking. Right? He, he stepped up right afterwards last night and said I wasn't, wasn't good enough. And, and I heard him again today in the locker room saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring it today. I got I to gotta bring more. Without, with... Yeah, I thought... I, th I think so. I think that helped us too, right? I think we, again, with the, with the Kyle just coming back, um, I wish I could tell you I was smart enough that that's, that was the plan, but I was, it was just more of the managing Kyle's minutes that ended up with him a couple times, and I think that helps him too. Yeah, that helps him too.